In today's video, we'll see real life imitating Hollywood, Mother Nature at her worst, and a spine-chillingly ghost encounter. But first, is this finally proof that there are aliens among us? No pun intended. UFO This UFO clip was caught floating above the skies of the Aegean Sea by a passenger of a plane that was traveling to Athens, Greece on March 2018. The image shown looks like an aircraft without wings, which soared across the sky and speeds faster than any known jet. The UFO appeared out of nowhere and didn't look or move like any other conventional aircraft that we know of. Admittedly, that black strip of what appears to be smoke looks like chemtrails left by passing aircraft, but those are usually white, not inky black like this one. Gone are the days when we think of UFOs as flying saucer-shaped things, and recent sightings, even those reported by the US government itself, have proved that they come in all shapes and sizes. Whether this is a real spacecraft or not, only time is gonna tell. Fight and Flight Usually it's fight or flight, but this one is an actual fight caught on an actual flight, and here's what I mean. This footage was taken on a Nippon Airlines flight from Los Angeles to Tokyo back in 2017. This man with the red shirt who was drunk before we even boarded the plane got into a fist fight with one clearly reluctant passenger. This poor passenger was simply trying to defend himself. The two were separated and that was the end of the fight, am I right? Well, not quite. The guy in the red Hawaiian shirt came back for one more round. Flight attendants and later on airport police had to intervene to pacify the agitated man. But before doing so, he managed to assault one flight attendant and even choke another passenger. The man was eventually subdued, taken off the plane, and went to prison and faced a multitude of charges as he rightfully should have. Flying in Style If you're a pet of the Saudi royal family, you'll always fly in style, even though you can fly yourself. During a trip from the United Arab Emirates, a Saudi prince bought plane tickets for all of his 80 Falcons, even going as far as getting each and every one of them its own passport. Why the Saudi prince didn't just charter a private jet for his birds? I don't know. What I do know, though, is that all the passengers on the plane were astonished when they boarded their flight, only to discover the entire middle section of the plane was occupied by said birds. Surprisingly, these kinds of feathered passengers are not all that unusual, though. At least not in Saudi Arabia. Airlines flying the skies of the United Arab Emirates, where falconry is a popular sport, do cater to passenger birds traveling with their owners. Many airlines serving UAE passengers, including Ethad and Qatar Airways and Emirates Air, allow a certain number of Raptors in the cabin or checked luggage. Although, admittedly, 80 is a tad bit too much. Birds traveling on board still have to abide by plane rules, one of which is that birds wear hoods that cover their eyes just to make sure they remain calm during travel. And although it does sound a bit weird for aviation authorities to require passports for each and every bird, having passports actually prevents illegal animal trade. Some of these birds even get to fly first class, a luxury that not all of us could even hope to afford. Miracle on the Hudson On January 15, 2009, a possible disaster turned into a valiant display of skill and composure when Captain Chelsea Burnett Sullenberger III safely landed the plane he was piloting on New York City's Hudson River after a bird strike caused its engines to malfunction. David Patterson, governor of New York at the time, dubbed the incident the Miracle on the Hudson. Sullenberger, a former fighter pilot with decades of flying experience, received a slew of honors for his actions, including an invitation to Barack Obama's presidential inauguration and resolutions of praise from the U.S. Congress. Everything went wrong just a minute after taking off from New York's LaGuardia Airport on January 15th. U.S. Airways Flight 1549 collided with one of the aviation industry's most threatening foes, a flock of geese. Crippled by the bird strike, both engines lost power and went quiet, forcing Captain Sullenberger to make an emergency landing. When air traffic controllers instructed the seasoned pilot to head for nearby Tetabora Airport, he calmly informed them that he was unable to reach a runway. He then informed everybody on the plane that they're going to attempt a water landing on the Hudson River, and for all the 150 terrified passengers and five crew members on board to brace for impact. One survivor suffered two broken legs and others were treated for minor injuries or hypothermia, but thankfully no fatalities occurred. After walking up and down the aisle twice to ensure a complete evacuation, Sullenberger was the last to leave the sinking plane. Crab Landing It looks exactly like how it sounds. Crab landing is an extremely difficult landing maneuver that only the most skilled of pilots can execute. This kind of maneuver is almost only ever done when a plane encounters heavy crosswinds on the final approach. 
Ask any pilot, crosswinds are the most dangerous kind of winds that one can encounter while flying, which is why to successfully land a plane via crabbing requires a pilot to have excellent flying skills and unwavering confidence as well. Crabbing involves turning the plane's nose towards the wind so that some of the aircraft's thrust is counteracting the crosswind, allowing the aircraft's ground track to align with the runway. The plane takes on its zip and gently skids itself parallel to the lateral drive of the wind, making the plane more sideways, much like a crab. It takes a lot of skill to execute this while staying calm and focused, but this pilot did rise to the challenge and put up this epic display of skill when he crab landed at London's Heathrow Airport while in the middle of a hurricane. Sufficiently speaking, the passengers aboard that plane were scared out of their wits from the sudden arrival, but their faith in the pilot was far more prevalent. I mean, after all, they did arrive in one piece, for the most part. Snake on a plane. That movie was so dumb, and we're gonna get into that territory here. I don't care if Sam Jackson was in it, he's been in bad movies before. You know, maybe Bruce Campbell would have been better. Moving on, I digress. An actual snake was found on an actual plane, and it quite predictably sent everybody on board into a state of panic. Passengers aboard a commercial flight in Mexico got to play the real-life Hollywood nightmare of snakes on a plane when a snake slithered along and then dangled from the cabin ceiling while the plane was on its flight. The video posted to Twitter shows the green-colored snake slithering along the plane wall behind the luggage compartment before dropping down from the cabin, almost immediately freaking out everybody nearby. According to Era Mexico, the flight was forced to do an emergency landing in Mexico City, where workers rescued the reptile before the plane set off again on its original flight plan. Authorities over at the airport are still baffled at how a snake could have entered the plane without being spotted by security, but the airline did promise to impose stricter security measures to make sure that the incident is never repeated. I hope everybody got a refund as well. Haunted Plane After every major flight, it's only customary to check the plane for passengers who decided to stay back a little longer on their flight. It's this guy's job to do exactly that, and he did find somebody, but what this dude saw was nothing in any way human. This man went to check on his plane alone, something that he's done countless times before. We can guess that the flight was at night, seeing that the whole plane was dark, so like the brave maintenance man he is, he went into the different cabins and checked from aisle to aisle for any remaining passengers. Using only the light of his cell phone, he went to the coach section of the plane, and he noticed something eerily resembling a hand dart back behind a passenger chair. Thing is, the hand vaguely resembled that of a human being, all black and gangly though. The sight shook him up so much that he immediately hightailed out of the plane, never bothering to check on who or what the hand belonged to. I think it's safe to say that this man isn't going to go back on there anymore. Eye of a Hurricane Flying directly into the eye of a storm is a difficult undertaking for any pilot, but sometimes going around it isn't the better option. So the passengers in this flight were taken on a perilous trip of a lifetime. The storm was reported to be more dangerous than Hurricane Katrina, and the pilot was flying directly into the eye of said storm. I think you can just imagine how strong the winds are going to be there for the plane. What started out as a few bumps here and there turned into major turbulence in just a matter of seconds. You can actually see in the clip just how violently turbulent things became, much to the horror of all the passengers. Everyone did eventually reach their destination safely, but I'm pretty sure that all of those passengers are going to check on the weather report before booking their next flights. With what started with a few rattles left and right turned into a series of serious turbulence in a matter of seconds. You can actually see in the video the level of wind power the plane was getting while on the bumpy trip. The plane, its passengers, and crew did arrive safely to their destination, but I'm thinking no one on that trip would want to experience the chaotic awesomeness of Mother Nature ever again. The Flying Turkey I'm pretty sure turkeys can't fly. These butterball of a bird are more at home on the Thanksgiving table than in the air. That's why I'm certain this bird was secretly terrified when its owner suddenly decided to take her along on a flight. But she put on a brave face, and she wants to support animals after all. Easter is the pet turkey of a Seattle woman named Jody Smalley. She lost her husband to cancer just three months prior, and Easter became her constant companion and source of support. And of course, being a support animal, anywhere Jody goes, Easter goes as well. On this particular trip, though, Jody's going to be flying from Seattle all the way to San Francisco so she can spread her husband's ashes on the Golden Gate Bridge. So, donned in her custom-made diaper and her flight papers under her wing, Easter was quite a sight at the airport. Her fellow travelers whipped out their phones and took photos and videos of the amusing scene, and I'm pretty sure Easter was extremely pleased as she gobbled up all the attention. Pun fully intended. 
little turbulence never hurt anybody, right? Turbulence is a part of most flights. If you don't experience it while traveling, then you're one of the lucky few, but then again, it's really not that dangerous, even if they could be nerve-wracking. Sometimes, though, flights experience turbulence that is simply so strong that passengers sometimes are going to see their entire lives pass before their eyes. This plane ride made it into online infamy when one of the passengers recorded the turbulence he and his fellow passengers had to endure. As always, it started out with short, rattling bursts, but in a matter of seconds, it felt like they were going off-road rather than being on a flight. In the clip, even the flight attendants couldn't hide their discomfort, and they're the ones most experienced in all this. The entire scene was simply chaotic, and actually did lead to the hospitalization of certain passengers who passed out mid-flight. They were later released after the checkup, and thankfully everybody was fine, just scared. Ghost Flyers being supposedly ethereal beings that are not of this dimension, you'd think ghosts would have no problem traversing this planet. After all, they could probably just float over to whatever place they want to be in, am I right? Well, it seems that sometimes they prefer the traditional way of traveling, which has led to some airports being labeled as haunted. Caught on camera at the Phuket International Airport, this video was taken by a civilian waiting to board his plane. He was simply idly watching the boarding bridge when he spotted something weird. He caught a glimpse of several people crossing the bridge, but the weird thing is, the bridge doesn't lead to a waiting airplane. So, question is, where did all those people come from? Well, this video certainly caught social media attention. People commented that the entire thing was edited, and others say that it was just an optical illusion, but either way, we don't want to board whatever plane ride they were taking. Cracked Plane Panel You never, ever want to ride a bus at a plane. First, if it breaks down mid-flight, it's not really like AAA can send a tow truck over. Secondly, if it does break down mid-flight, you're probably gonna crash, burn, and then go up to the nice big plane in the sky. Regular maintenance of commercial passenger planes aren't only a routine, it's a requirement. But no matter how stringent these checks can be, some of them do slip through the cracks. Passengers on this particular flight knew that something was up when they were hearing a slight rattling noise inside the cabin. It was caused by a cracked panel inside the panel, which was vibrating. Of course, they called the flight attendants to check on the crack, but as they were doing so, the crack became even bigger. The pilot was then called to inspect the damage, and he assured the passengers that there was nothing to worry about. He did, however, decide to make an emergency landing, wisely choosing not to take chances with the lives of his passengers. Electronic Disaster Do you find it irritating for some things that just seem so mundane to be banned inside airplanes? I do, but these restrictions are put there for a reason. They can be pretty dangerous and lead to disastrous consequences. Case in point is this video of a vape pen just suddenly bursting into flames while inside its own carry-on bag. While it's not allowed to use a vape pen while inside the plane, the TSA does allow people to take them on board, provided that they're safely sewn in the owner's carry-on, like in the case here. Thing is, though, the lithium-ion batteries that power these devices, especially the sketchily made ones, have a habit of malfunctioning or worse, spontaneously combusting. Fortunately, the incident happened when passengers were still boarding the flight, thus averting what could have been a disastrous flight, which would definitely necessitate an emergency landing. Superconductor did you know that modern planes were actually designed to withstand lightning? Which is a good thing because, statistically, lightning's gonna strike an airplane at around every thousand hours of flight time. So, despite your fears, lightning hitting planes is truly no biggie, but of course, that fact doesn't make that event even less terrifying. This video captures the scary moment in its entirety. While filming the outside of the plane's window during flight, this passenger films a bolt of lightning hit one of the plane's wings. Footage like this is so rarely captured, and they're both scary and fascinating at the exact same time. Usually, planes are struck by lightning at an altitude of 5,000 to 15,000 feet, often following takeoff or descent. The presence of rain is another factor that increases the chances of lightning strikes. Hawaiian Dip Some people wouldn't be able to think right, much less be able to hold a recording device up when they see themselves plummeting 100 miles per hour to the ocean. This guy, though, sure is one heck of a man, as he filmed the entire aftermath of the crash he's involved in, as well as the plummet. Ferdinand Puentes, the man behind the camera, rode on a small plane together with nine other passengers when sirens began to go off. The passengers knew in an instant what was about to happen and braced for impact as the plane crash landed nose first into the Pacific Ocean, a mile off of Molokai. Eight of the passengers survived, while one unfortunately didn't make it. 
Rescue operations were a bit delayed, which resulted in the passengers bobbing in the ocean for quite a while before finally being rescued. See you guys next time!